direct with that great roll of a one. <laughs> just the kind of holds directly his face back first, back. <laughs> right into the pit. He, I'm like cringing, like oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's really fun, Nisk. Uh, we'll be playing Dragon Age uh, tabletop game uh, tomorrow night. Uh, Saturday is Dungeons and Dragons next. Down the side, on to the side but it doesn't and cost anything to have Roll Twenty, which it's it's great. You can click on the link below and register for free. And you can find games and everything else. So. I would actually like to try to jump as well because Goliaths have a few perks to doing athletics checks. Do you really? Yes, they get and to re-roll. Ooh, do they really? Yes, they do. You could have re-rolled that one if you were a Goliath there, uh, Shmash. Well, guess what? You didn't. Shamash pulls off his mask and reveals that he's actually a Goliath. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try to jump as well, just because it's fun. Shamash is moving when he hears the footsteps coming fast. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Tomlin gets the run and start. You need to roll a 15. Ah, thank you for the follow, Nisk. I appreciate it. Welcome to the community, man. We've got a great community here. Everybody's helpful, friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And now, as you come up to the edge as well, Tomina... Nope. I get to re-roll. You... And I guess I would roll a 3 or a 1. But well, as you get up to the edge, you go to plant your foot, and you just pull up. And then you go... Like something... Like you just shit your pants or something, so you you run back and now you can do your okay. other roll. You didn't shit your pants. Sixteen. But. Oh man, barely. <laughs> you come up your your second attempt up to the edge. You get up there, you jump across, and you land on the edge, and you're able to, you know, you're able to actually gather your, you know, all of your bearings, your acrobatics, your balance, and you're able to get on the other side of the of the pit. Not bad for an old Goliath. Yeah. <laughs> and it <laughs> shamashes on the edge of the pit so he doesn't get clocked by Tominuk. And, and you hear Tominuk running, because you hear him grunting several times, Shamash, so you're thinking he's going to try something. And then you hear some sort of like uh, skid marks. And then, you, <laughs> and then he does it again. And then you see this Goliath just jump over the entire pit. And you're thinking, oh my god, is he going to make it? And then he hits the edge. And then he he, you know, he gathers his balance, and he's he's able to to get on the other side of the pit. Now uh, y'all show off. <laughs> Boom! It's going to be even more of a show off since he can float. He's just gonna walk. He's gonna hover like a UFO over it. Yeah. And just uh, look uh, look down at you, <laughs> so much as he's hovering. <laughs> um, Medic's actually seen that uh, the big giant made it. He's gonna try to jump also. <laughs> but he is going to do Unseen Aid, which gives us a plus two bonus. Exactly, Menaces. The old Acme, what is it, the Acme uh, warehouse, whatever he used to buy all his gadgets for chasing down the Roadrunner. His Acme portable hole. Uh, and David, just for, for future stuff, um, it's just... Flaming like Bow? Two times, and pick the result. I don't get to sort. So say. it's sort of like advantage, maybe? Yeah, but uh, advan advantage as in next, not advantage yeah. in fourth. So yeah, yeah. I, I get I just roll twice, and I it, I don't even have to pick the greater number. I can pick the lowest if I want. I was just uh, giving it something more dramatic for yeah. you. I, I know, and I appreciate it. Just so you know what it actually does. Yeah, very good. I don't mind you doing that. That had to been where they actually got the advantage and disadvantage system. For D and D next, that that has to be the same thing basically. But don't worry, more, more hooks jump. Don't worry, they're implementing the fourth edition skill system, so we got that to look forward to in uh, D and D yeah. next. Why make a new game? And anyways, uh, n that's for another session. Uh, so you're, we're back to uh, Melik and Batista. No, I missed. So what are you guys doing? Are you I guys? Jump. He jumped with the fourteen. You jump to the 14, you jump, Malik, Can't and you go. get all the way over to the edge, and it's just not enough. Can, and you can hit the I wall. Do a, <laughs> a dexterity and try to grab one of his hands. That's a perfect thing. You're right in a great position to do that. And yeah, you can do that. Because you see that he's going to barely miss the edge. Yeah. 
So yeah. Uh, do you want a, a pure dexterity or acrobatics? Give me an acrobatics check. It's we'll actually about the same. We'll, we'll get away from D and D next with the checks, and we'll just use acrobatics. So yes, give me acrobatics. While they're doing this, I'm going to. Ooh, uh, yes. I can't eat over my arms in slow motion <laughs> with birds flying around me, and yeah. we have a moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then he, and then he picks that other straggler arm hair out of your arm as you're pulling him in. Uh, Shemak quickly life. grabs Malik's ankles while he's dangling there. <laughs> and starts climbing up the wall as uh, Tominuk pulls Malik up. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Please give me a strength roll on that. And I want you to give me a strength roll as well, Malik. Because you've got a lot of extra weight onto you now, and Tominuk is trying to pull you up out of the pit. Because you were starting to fall, you know, backwards into the pit, and then that's when Tominuk grabbed onto you. And then as Tominuk grabbed onto you, Shamash grabbed onto you. So yeah, uh, Shamash, give me a. Oh my god, Malik. <laughs> 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 This is just wonderful. This is a this is a train wreck. I gotta highlight this, guys. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, you actually go down in the pit, Malik. Uh, can I can I actually since it's actually me who's holding him? Can I try to still be yeah, able me, yeah. to hold on to Malik? I'll tell you what. At least if you give yeah, give me an uh an athletics check. Who again? And if if you can give me a good athletics check to actually, you know, sort of like what I did with them for the athletics check. Yeah, you, you can continue to hold him, and just Shamash will go back to the ground. So, but you're able to latch onto his ankles there, Shamash. You're able to jump up. So, twenty-three for the first. Yes, you're able to to pull him back over to the edge. Okay. I'm really liking the giant. And Batista, you're just looking at your <laughs> you're you're looking all this unfold in front of you, and you're just shaking your head like, what in the oh hell is going God. on? Am I really <laughs> with these guys? I go look at the uh, fire statue thing there and turn it to the other side when they're done. <laughs> uh, see you guys later. <laughs> no, that's no, serious. Um, I'm going to uh, hang over the edge and drop down. Okay. There you go. You're down under the pit. Very easy. Very safe. And as, as soon as <laughs> someone else wants to climb up and it's their turn, I will help to pull them up. Okay. Can I do this? Yeah, you, you didn't need a roll to actually get down in there. Now, Heavy, if you wanted to do a fancy tumbling, you know, jumping and doing a roll as you land, then I'm yeah, sure I would have made you do acrobatics. Now, you're, you're fine. Like everybody else. Oh, Dude, they're I saying, like help the giant, uh, pee on Shamash in the pit, then leave him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so basically... The gist is everybody's able to get out of the pit. You do take yeah, 10 damage yeah. from falling there, Shamash. Uh, but there you go. It helps to have a rogue into the group, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> thought it was only 5 damage. Uh, was, oh, it was a 1d10. Yeah, you took 5. Sorry about that. Yeah, okay. My bad. So everybody's on the edge of the pit now. Well, on the other side of the pit. I like that tiefling miniature, too. That's pretty cool. Don't think I've used that yet. Yeah, that cloak fits in perfectly. Is that the Martha Stewart, inner Martha Stewart of you coming out, Heavy? Is that your inner Martha Stewart? It has to be. Oh, it looks That's sweet! sweet. <laughs> you almost sound like Child and Martha Stewart. Shall we continue? Uh, I think you guys should. Well, <laughs> we can can we can we can continue, and if you guys want to go past a little, we can, uh, because uh, what is fixing to come up is definitely going to take more than half an hour. Uh, so, let's go ahead and and continue for a little bit. Uh, does anybody have to go at exactly midnight? So, nope. we well, may I have to go you. into. Do you really? Nah. <laughs> Tomanuk, are you okay? 
Tamanook is okay. Okay. You don't? And I am too. I am Crumpet. Hello. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, Crump. You ready to go? All right. Cool. Let's keep playing then, guys. <laughs> it is. Oh, did it really, lady? Oh, this How is my lump. It's lump. I am. Hey, guys. I'm Lump the Ogre. Ooh. Oh, is wow. Is anybody else having trouble hearing him? Thank you guys uh, for all of the new follows. Holy like, cow. Uh, is that better? Yeah. Death Knoll. Uh, I'm good to go. Is Thank you for the follow. Razor001. Nisk. Good. All clear. All three of you, thank you very much for the follows. I appreciate it. Into the free, Shamash. Kick in the door. <laughs> thank you very much. Kick it in? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Shamash will reach out and... Uh, Touch someone. Check the door Touch and see someone? if it's unlocked. He reaches out and touches someone. Yes, the door is unlocked. Thankfully, the door is unlocked. It's the same type of door as before, Shamash. I mean, that door is identical almost. I mean, it has the, the rusted iron hinges. It's on the, the rusted iron uh, door frame. I mean, it's the same thing, basically. Same wood. It's made of oak. Heavy oak. That brazier is the same as the other brazier. It's probably worth a little bit of money. Deja vu. And you got a cart, so I'm sure you guys will be looting and pillaging this Did fucking place up the other group. You got the, cart. the carts outside! No, I, oh I have it God. on my back, David. I'm a Goliath, remember? <laughs> 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 Boom is carrying it. <laughs> Shamash no, is back. pulling the door Well, I'd, I'd love to have you in one of my games, Nisk. So, whenever I'm doing a one-shot on a Sunday, just make sure you're here, and I'll let you get in, man. No problem at all, Nisk. Kaboom. Lady, we got to get you into a one shot. I mean, all of you guys, soy, all of you guys need to get in. All right, and the door is opening. Sesame seed. As you open up the door, this is always uh, well. This is also not always, but this is also a, a lit. You know, this is another lit room. Uh, you see a, a wall directly in front of you. You see another brazier. Uh, not as much dust in here, uh, but you really don't see anything else. But you do, uh, but as you do open up the store, you do hear like a light talking off into the, off into the distance. Shamash is stepping aside and letting Batista enter. <gasps> I saw somebody move. Lead, lead, lead the way, party member. <laughs> or yes. Party leader. <clears throat> As you do round the corner and you do get the door open fully, you can see off into the distance. You can see several people walking. They don't quite see you yet. Seems like people are just going about doing their own their own thing. They look very unarmed. I like this. Okay, I'm going to try to get out of the line of sight and I sneak attack to the Sorry right, about that. Uh, side or northern section of this map here as I come around this first corner. Man, when was the last time you guys had combat? Like three weeks ago? Um, the last time we had combat was with the goblin. Oh, you got your asses kicked. That's right, I yeah. forgot that. Like I said, right. deja vu. <laughs> All right. All right, seeing this is like a roundabout corner, I'm going to kind of duck behind it and kind of yell as I get back there, kind of whisper to it, smash. All right, there's some people up ahead. As you as you step around the corner, uh, this gentleman here, lower right hand corner of this room, sees you, and he yells, "We have intruders!" So I want everyone intruders? to where? <laughs> where? <laughs> where? <laughs> where? <laughs> Behind me? Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, we don't have any uh, NISC. We don't have any stealth and sneak attack. You cut out. Let's go ahead and do initiative now, guys. So hold on, let me let me check the tracker. Oh, you guys already rolled, right? No, uh, I did. Okay, well I'm but gonna I'm let you. Lost hold anyway, on, so. I gotta clear the tracker anyway. So, all right, let's go ahead and do initiative now. 
and we you will. You don't want to add in my seven? No, I don't want to okay. add. Make sure your targets, your target is, uh, your token is targeted. Nonetheless, ten. Like the initiative of the sorcerer. Silence says too many. No, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm reading something actually. Yeah, the book is called 101 Ways to Kill a Tiefling. Oh, <laughs> no. I just had to back out on the map a little bit. No. Uh... Alright, I'm rolling initiative for all of the. All the actual bandits that are able to roll right now. That's scary. Haha! <laughs> that was a nice roll. These bandits are quite big. <laughs> yeah. These are some of the thugs that have attacked me before. I recognize some of them. <laughs> How are they as specimens? Not too good, <laughs> I guess. No, file no. beasts. No. No good genes. S spoiled. That's a lot of rolling. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Dave, why do you sound so happy? Because <laughs> a few twenties in there. All right, that's all the minions. So <laughs> let's let's get all these in order now. Holy crap! That's one thing that I wish the macro did was put everything in order. But hey, I'll tell you what, I'm so thankful and gracious that this command has been. Added into the the actual macros. Uh, this is hey Dave, you should awesome. be on that turn order. There should be a gear, and you should get another box that says descending on it. Oh, and is there really? Oh wow, yeah. wow! Look at that. Yeah, you can put them as. I well. never knew that. Look at that, guys! I never knew that. Holy shnikes! There we go. We are in descending order now. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. No problem. You can do ascending in other ways with it. Yeah, I see that. That's nice. That's extra experience points. I think it might be. Yeah, I'll, I'll make it. Uh, I'll make it worth your while tonight. I'll give you like eight, uh, eight magic items or something for that. Sweet. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. We have. Yeah, but he won't know what they do. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you're so right on that. Holy crap. <laughs> I mean, I had my shield for how long before we knew what it was? Oh, it's just a better than average shield. <laughs> I was waiting for it to chop my arm off. Oh, did you check this here? Look, you have no more arm. Jira, Archer. The bad guys go first. All right. So sorry about that. This is the big encounter, guys. So there's a lot of a lot of initiative rolls uh, right now. <laughs> a few. Yeah, there there's a lot, uh, and there's. This is a a very large encounter. So this is a a six person encounter. You guys are missing one tonight, uh, and you only got four. So you guys are good players, and I have I have faith in you. So you guys will be fine. Uh, hey, we died before. Welcome That's to the group, there. To us. Welcome to the group, Warhawk and Warhawk, <laughs> and don't fuck up. Okay. <laughs> All right. First off, the. Uh, First bandit is going to. Uh, they're all they're all alerted. So the whole complex uh, 
your initiative rolls have been done, you, you hear a like a, a gong, several hits, uh, then all of a sudden chaos ensues. You just see, you know, people coming out of the woodwork from around corners, and you guys are just really, uh, you guys are definitely up shit creek. So, well, not up shit creek, but as for, you know, visuals and, you know, hearing and everything, you guys definitely hear a lot going on. All right, first move, this guy is going to take his movement, and he can move 30 feet. And I'm going to use my spacebar command. I love it. And if All right. in your guys' way, I was able to move it um, from, my, from my end. The turn order, excuse me. All right, next up is uh, number two. Yeah, I think my... All right, Melek, you're up now. I'm still... I heard them say alarm, and I'm like, an intruder, so I'm like, where? Where? Behind me? And I am going to move... You know how to use the space, space bar, right? Use that for your movement so you can... Highlight your token, and when you highlight your token, hit the space bar, and hold, keep the left mouse button pressed down the entire time. And every time you move to a point that you want to move, hit the space bar again. Go ahead and test it out one time. Do you see what I'm talking about? Does the little ruler pop up for you? Yeah, I'm having difficulties with it. Okay, no problem. All right. No problem. No rush at all. We're not trying to rush this or anything. So highlight your token and hold down the left mouse button. And as you're holding down the left mouse button, hit the space bar, move your token, and wherever you want to stop to move or head another direction, hit the space bar again and continually hit the space bar every time you move while holding down the left mouse button. And then while you're, while you're done, when you're done moving the token, just drop it down and it will show everyone the movement that you're making. Really cool new feature with the rugged reroll. I moved 20 feet there. Okay. And a little bit back. There you go. Alright, there you go. Next to Pratisti. You can see that there are several uh, bandits coming your way as you round the corner. You can actually see uh, about four to six of them as what you can see right now. Are they heading towards towards us? Obviously? They're yeah, they're heading in all different directions. I mean it, you know, you you definitely there's a lot going on right now. Okay, right. uh I can delay my attack to in, until someone gets closer. No, I don't do delays. Okay, no, okay, no delays. Nope. Right. I, I don't I do will. holding actions, sorry. I, I don't I've just okay. had uh lots of bad experiences with holding holding right. turns and previous um, games. I'll I'll forfeit the rest of my, my action. Okay. And that, now I'll be more clear, seeing that you are a new person, I don't mind if somebody holds an action, like if you're like where you're at or where Batista is at around the corner and you're waiting for somebody to run around the corner for the element of surprise. Right. That I don't mind. But you know when when a, somebody just and I know fourth fourth edition mechanics are much different than D and D next. I just don't want somebody holding a position at the beginning of every turn and thunder waving something back all the time. Right, right. That way that, that creature never gets close to to the party. I or creatures right. get close to the party, so all right. And we have at least the free action since he moved up here, I can talk to him. Yeah, you can you can discuss between one another. Uh, okay. as he ends his turn I'm going to point into the direction of the northwest. Like there's a lot of movement up there. Ah, I see them. Smash her up, sir. This is a massive place as well. As you guys enter, this is... I mean, this place is just massive. It's 20 to 30 foot tall ceilings, probably somewhere around 25 foot. 
braziers everywhere, lots of lots of dust, lots of footprints, lots of yelling, lots of running around. Uh, also, you notice Batista and the new guy, Melek, you both notice that there's a bright blue glowing rune on the floor directly in front of you as well. Okay, it's kind of blacked out for us, for me at least. Nope. You can see it now. Okay. <laughs> Part of my Shamash. plan. Shamash moves there and pulls his great axe. Okay. Uh, as you're charging in the direction of south to southwest, you can actually see numerous targets as well. I've got to move the turn order, guys, okay. somewhere here. Smash, keep kind of together. Don't go too far out. All right, now we have a, another movement coming up. All right, that bandit is moved. Uh, next bandit. You see a another bandit come out from behind this corner. I, could, I don't know if you could see it on line of sight, but another bandit emerges from around the corner as well. You guys are definitely looking like you are starting to become surrounded. All right, Batista, you're up now. Batista. All right, as I am uh, channeling a divinity in uh, move actions of D, two, one move action and two minors, uh, channeling my divinity, and then I will move up to just in the north part of the symbol. There. Where at? Can you ping, please? Yeah, moving. Okay, you're moving over towards the rune. Okay, gotcha. I've got you, sir. Okay, keeping my eye on the uh, advancing party members coming that way. Looking back towards Melich, uh, there appears to be some kind of magical uh, rune up here. Goobermonger. <laughs> <laughs> Great names tonight, guys. Goobermonger069, thank you for the follow. Uh, Revere's111, also thank Just you for the follow find, tonight uh, as well. I appreciate so it, guys. Real quick. Is that going to be your action, your major action, to actually ask a definitive question like that? Because, I mean, if you're, if you're kind of no, running towards... Out, out to you. Just out, out of the game towards you. Ah, uh, you you have no, no. Zark was heading. If you remember, Zark was heading to the east. You guys went west, back to Loudwater, because remember, Melek told you uh, that he had encounter. Well, he well he was traveling off of the road because he was a solo you know adventurer. Uh, he did hear footprints. He uh, became a little bit more uh, hidden into the brush. And then he told you that Zark and several of his goons rode by quickly on horseback. And it wasn't just a swift gallop. It was actually a, basically a full-out sprint with the horses. So, no. Uh, that's just what you know. Is Zark could be here. He may not be here. You just don't know. But you do know that you went west and Zark was going east. All right. Is that it for you there, Mr. Batista? Yeah, that was 20 foot movement there, and um, let's see, the challenge bin E is in a counter power, and then, uh, yeah, that'd be my defensive stance there. Alright, so... so I'll sword with my other minor action. Alright, so we got some more movements coming up for the bad guys. Shamash, you see a... You see someone running from around the corner as well. Running up to engage you. Tomanuk, you're up. Mr. Mute Goliath. Okay, joke. Is 
There we go, now I can see in the room a bit better. Um, okay. <laughs> 